Hi there, welcome back to another Aussie homesteading video. I just wanted to share the nice surprise that we woke up to this morning. Um, sharing this because I think today's day 24. On day 12 or 13, we had the power go off um, and it was off for about 14 hours. And when we got up in the morning, we noticed that the incubator was off and the power cord was out. So I don't know why, but um, it was. We turned it on and the incubator was registering 17 degrees. So from 37.8, 37.9, which it's basically run at, it had dropped down to 17. We don't know how long it was off, but we know what time we went to bed. So we left that area of the house. So it happened at some stage and we could be up to 14 hours. So um, obviously we checked the eggs and they felt room temperature. They certainly weren't, weren't, weren't warm to the touch anymore. And of course, I, I mean, this has never happened to us. We've incubated plenty of eggs and we've never like batches and batches and batches of eggs. And we've never actually had a power outage. So we were concerned, especially for them to be room temperature. However, um, I candled them. Um, like I let them get back up next day I candled them I wasn't sure if I saw movement um, you know they already had reasonably sized air sacs and then I think well has that air sac grown you know next week when I checked and I'm like well I think this one's grown and I wasn't quite sure the whole way through um, and I thought I'll just leave it until one smells or you know there's another 100% certainty to me that they died at least gone past the 21 days and then two days ago I think it was or it might be three um, one of my children and I thought we heard pipping coming out of the incubator and we checked and I couldn't see an egg that had broken through um, into the air sac so then I thought oh no I've imagined it, it must be a bird outside or something um, so that kind of toyed with me a little bit and I was actually thinking in a couple of days, if there was no movement yet, I'd probably call them that they died. So, and here we are, we've woken up with one, two, three out. Yeah, one, two, three. Now these chicks' mums are Astralor and the father is a Golden Laced. Um, so, um, you can see some of them are a little bit darker than others, but they're beautiful. Um, we've got one scissoring open. I think that's just about ready to push himself out. So that's lovely. Um, I can see, apart from the one that's scissoring, there's another one scissoring over here. You can see one over here scissoring as well. He's just about through. And then there's three that are starting to break the surface. Like you can see just straight through there. So we've got what at least, so there's three out, two scissorings, five. And another three so about nine chicks guaranteed I'd say at this stage I would pretty much say we could guarantee we've got nine I mean you shouldn't count your chickens before they hatch at all but um, look there's that one. I don't know if you can see there's one just about to come down push himself out there he sees it all the way around how wonderful um, so yeah, I'm just posting this so that if it ever happens to you and your power goes off for whatever reason, um, and of course it being winter here at the moment, that's been a concern. Um, but yeah, I think they're going to be fine. So please don't ever be worried. At least give them their, their time plus a few more days because look at this. I'm just amazed and I just wanted to share that. So um if you haven't subscribed yet hit subscribe hit like what have you and we'll see you in the next aussie homesteading video thanks for watching bye